Hi everyone, we are at the NAB 2019 show. It's early morning, nobody has entered the halls yet except us. It means we have all the silence in the world to do this booth tour. And I'm gonna focus on the wave board. So, the wave board at our display has an, a, a little unusual configuration because it's hooked up with two things, an ATEM switcher and a TriCaster Mini, which we have right here. So, the way we go between these is on the function key number one, we are moving to the ATEM um, channel, which is audio channel one up to six. Then we have the XLR channel and the master over here. And when I go there, we have seven up to 12, and then XLR and master over here. So these two channels are essentially the same, only these six are actually moving between those two banks, if you will. Nice LED bars with video metering, so you have uh, audio monitoring, that's really awesome. And if I go to F3, you see it's marked in blue, the new tech blue. We have access to new tech channels. It says input one up to seven. We have the master over here and then DDR, uh, DDR2, sound, effects, stream, auxiliary one and two. Those labels are pulled out of the switcher. Cool. If you want to see that we're actually adjusting audio channels with this one, I want to invite you to take a look at this one. So there is a third device we are connected to. That's a video hub and the video hub will give you the routing of this screen. So, the little button in this corner, when I press that, will bring up the TriCaster output so you can see the audio channels right there. And now that we are moving the faders, you see it's also moving in the, uh, on the screen. And this is where the waveboard is a really, really cool addition to the TriCaster because you have physical faders which are interacting with the TriCaster. So if you change it with software, you will see the faders are moving along. And that's a highly requested feature for TriCaster users to have uh, physical faders, motorized faders for the system. If you look at the, the top row of these buttons, you see that we have um, stuff like uh, on and off of the channels. You can mute them. You can have auto follow video for the ATEM series. Over here, you just have on off. And then finally, take a look at this button because that changes what we have in the display outputs. Really, really cool. When I hold this one, I have the actual dB values of my various inputs shown. So you can see as I'm adjusting this, I have nice indication of the actual value. If I uh, go to the TriCaster, totally the same. And every time the title is shown. So this is a um, very advanced and comprehensive configuration of the WaveBot. It shows you how much you can do with this panel. We have default configurations that will work out of the box for ATEM and TriCaster series. So um, it's really easy for you when uh, you have either one of these systems. Mm -hmm.